Yeah. They're coming now. Yep. Good job. Hey everybody and welcome back to another episode of Manly Men. I'm Chris Kerr. And I'm Jay Myers. And a couple weeks ago we showed you how to uh, make a carving with chainsaws and earn yourself a little extra money. Senior citizens are great customers. They love chainsaw. They have a lot of spare time to shop and shop around and look for things. And they're a little too old to do it themselves. They usually have really big backyards. They need to fill it up. So we're going to show you how to fill it up and make a little bit of money. What more do senior citizens like than birds? So we're going to show you how to make a bird bath out of these old logs. Yep. Turn some old crummy logs into a bird bath that all the birds in your backyard can enjoy. It's serving two purposes. You're helping the senior citizens, you're helping the birds. You're helping birds get cleaned up. Well three, because you're also making a little bit of money. It's true. Put a little extra cash in your pocket. Right, turn this thing fires up alright. Cheers. Cheers. Choke it. I did. Front. Flooded it. Did you flood it? I smell gas. Did you flood it? Probably. Can we try it? Oh, that's not bad. That's not good. Can we try it? I got it. That's why you always go with electric. No start time. Go electric. So I could be cutting away while he's wasting his time trying to start that gas mower. The gas uh, chainsaw. <laughs> I'll catch up. All right, you want to remember to leave a little bit of a ledge around the actual, actual bird bath. That allows for the birds to hang out, maybe eat some seed and uh, suntan a little. So we're gonna go ahead and fill it up now. Let's go ahead and fill it up. See, now that holds a lot of water. That's gonna be really handy for those birds. That's great. They're let, gonna the, love it. Uh, let the foam of the water kind of settle down, surface tension will even out, and the, uh, the birds will have a place to go and drink and get cleaned up. So one thing I did that's different than Chris, I left it a little shallower. I know that birds like to get their feet wet, but they don't like to get their wings wet. So what I've done is just made it a little shallower of a bird bath. Well now it doesn't take very much beer to fill this one up or water. That's all I have. Uh, and so that way they can really just kind of enjoy some cold toes. Yeah. But then they let they leave their wings, you know, dry so they can fly away. Yeah. All right, as you can see here, we've had a pretty successful bird bath. Oops. Chris is just calling in a couple of them just bird, now. Yeah, birds from several neighborhoods. Uh, the word's getting out, and uh, they're starting to uh, to come in and use Jay's bird bath. Now we might just got lucky that we're in the migration path. I don't know, but it seems that uh, they're loving the bird bath. Yeah, they are. So uh, let's take a look at how well Chris's did, but mine obviously has done just fine. Yeah, lots of birds. No. All right, good morning. We, so uh, we're back out here checking up on the uh, bird bath that I made. And we happened to find these uh, 
eagle feathers around it. We're not sure, but we think that this one can summon eagles. Could be, I'm not sure if it's a golden eagle or a bald eagle, but definitely an eagle was drinking out of the bird bath that I carved. Which is pretty exciting. Pretty uh, damn cool. So pretty, really for 150, you could summon an eagle. Pretty manly, I'd say. We've got um, three different types of birds here. Uh, and we know that it also uh, drew an, an eagle. So this, this one could probably draw within like four different types of birds. Yep. Probably were some falcons as well. Maybe some, uh, some morning doves, a hawk, chicken hawk. So, so my pool is a little bit deeper than... Um, and it obviously draws a little bit more birds, but... Yeah. So it's like if you can't fly with the big birds, go to Jay's uh, bird bath. If you want to swim in the deep end, come to my bird bath. Yeah, one thing we also didn't know was that um, unlike concrete bird baths, wood bird baths are porous. So the water soaks in pretty quickly. So you got to keep... Um, Popping open a can and putting more water in. But so once you, I'm guessing once you get to a certain point, it can only absorb so much water. Where's the rest gonna go? So you let it absorb all the water, water it can, and then you're good to go. A waterlogged log is not gonna take on any more water. It's true. 